let's bring you some more analysis on what's happening in Myanmar right now by bringing in Han Yangwei. He's the founder and executive director of the Euro Burma office. So Han Yangwei, thanks for being with us here on TRT World. Uh, first, before we go any further, just tell us what's the current state of the anti-coup movement right now in Myanmar? Unfortunately, it's not very clear. Um, there are demonstrators there, and there are those who are fighting back as a defense force against the military. And you also have the ethnic armies who are poised to fight with the military. So there are lots and lots of actors. I would say over 100 uh, armed groups. I mean, what kind of blame uh, do you put on um, Myanmar's neighbors, the regional countries, ASEAN and the like, for not ostracizing the junta? Well, the problem with the neighboring countries is that they value stability more than anything else, and they value doing business. So as long as the military can establish some kind of stability, they would be quite happy about it. But the cost of doing such a thing is very high because the military is very um, vicious. When they, even, when they capture, they will shoot at unarmed demonstrators. And when they capture armed um, resistance fighters, they will torture them and kill them without any due process. So it is a very uh, brutal army, and the people cannot accept that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, the moral cost, I'm sure that's what you're talking about, is what is so high. That is what is uh, massively weighing on uh, those in the region who haven't done more. So I, I do wonder, what are the next steps for those in Myanmar who are trying to um, oppose the coup? Because you mentioned stability, uh, Han Yangwei, but I guess for the military, this is stable. They've won. Yes, they believe that they can uh, enforce some kind of a control using the armed forces, but I don't think that will work. By the end of the year, we could be in a very critical situation where the military will be able to control some areas, but there will be random attacks on the military. People will be assassinated, explosions, random explosions will go off, and... Um, the economy is actually faltering, and many areas are beginning to experience shortage of food. And that is going to have a toll on the situation as well. And on top of that, although the military has killed over a thousand uh, demonstrators, um, opposition, uh, COVID is another problem. It has killed already over 17,000 people. And there is no way to control it, given the fighting that is going on. So that is going to be another factor that will impact the situation. And finally then, uh, Han Yangwei, what is your message to the international community who's been looking on uh, with some horror with what's happened in Myanmar these past uh, nine or, or so months? Uh, what is your message to those who perhaps haven't done enough to help the people of Myanmar living under this junta? You know, we have always talked about human rights, democracy, but when it comes to a situation like Myanmar, nobody is willing to do anything. Take, for example, the 2017 genocide against the Rohingya people. Over 30,000 people were killed and hundreds of villages were burnt and nobody did anything. So I'm not very hopeful, but the thing is, unless something is done, the stability that they value so much will be gone. There will be no stability in Myanmar until the people uh, are willing to accept the military. And there's no way that the pe people will be willing to accept the military unless there is a guarantee by the international community that the military in Myanmar will eventually leave politics. Nobody will accept going back to the status quo where the military continues to rule. They have shown themselves to be incapable of ruling. They have been killing their own people. And it is not just the minorities now. The Rohingyas and the minorities bore the brunt of the killing previously. Now they are killing their own people in the city. And that is totally unacceptable. OK. Uh, Han Yangwei, we have to leave it there from the uh, Euro Burma office. Do appreciate your analysis, sir. Thank you very much for your time.